I've devoted the past four years of my career to teaching Chinese history and various courses related to Chinese culture and cultural history at the City University of Hong Kong. In teaching history, maintaining close engagement with students is particularly important. This fosters an interactive and culturally cognizant teaching environment, promoting active learning, cultural understanding, and honing multilingual reading and writing skills. By fostering interactive discussions and debates in classes, we can shift the student's impression of history from a mere memorization or regurgitation of facts to an exploration of diverse perspectives on significant historical events. Instead of just him leading us on a field trip, he created the opportunity for our students to lead and curate a field visit in Hong Kong Island by ourselves, but also lending us guidance throughout, especially since many of us are relatively new to Hong Kong and actually do not know much about its sites. So this is an activity that we could benefit most from if we adopt an active role. Over the past few years, I've incorporated digital humanities into my teaching methodology, particularly within subjects like Chinese history, which have traditionally been taught using a teacher-centered pedagogy and text-centered learning mode. The pandemic necessitated a shift to remote teaching, making a student-centered approach even more crucial. To meet this challenge, I integrated data-driven learning tools such as online annotation tools and text repositories into my courses. Dr. Choi's way really takes the time to understand each student. He makes history classes and the reading of historical sources a lot more fun by using cool digital tools in creative ways. In Dr. Choi's class, we use digital tools like Hypothesis for online annotations and the C-Test digital library to read, tag and discuss primary sources with our classmates by annotating and commenting on the sources together. Everyone is more motivated to share our views and discovers with each other. This collaborative process of digging into the test with each other digitally has really helped improve my understanding of Chinese history from multiple angles. As artificial intelligence increasingly influences education, it is vital that we transition students from passive recipients of content to proactive learners. To prepare students for an AI-dominated era, I'm integrating generative AI technologies, such as chatbots, into my courses. This effort aims to help students recognize the respective strengths of humans and machines. For his inspiring supervision of my final year's thesis exploring digital approaches to preserving the memory of Kowloon Ward City in computer games, I was introduced to the fascinating field of digital culture and humanities. Dr. Chersky took significant time and care guiding me through this process, demonstrating both rigorous academic practices and a progressive attitude towards adapting to advances in technology. By prioritizing student-centered learning, personalized interaction, integration of technological tools, and collaboration, I hope to inspire my students to become active learners who are able to construct meaning from the histories, narratives and source materials they study and I hope to empower them to take ownership of their education, enabling them to rise to the challenges that they will face.